Hello people, I'm Data and welcome to my channel. Today we have a discussion about strikes. Why? Because very often I see people on the internet blabbing nonsense like strike are useless, strike are useless. Uh, people on my videos comment because mainly when I talk about skill trees I say that it's mandatory to have double strike. That's the very first thing you should do. Uh, they say you overestimate strikes, strikes are useless. First of all, where are they coming from? Yes, the cauldron nerfed the strikes. They used to deliver 15 damage per bomb. Now they drop 7 per bomb on the airstrike, 5 on the artillery, but the artillery has slightly more shells. So it's safe to say that the cauldron nerfed both of them by around 50% maybe slightly more than 50% nerf. So yes, it was a big nerf. Now, are they useless? Are they not? Uh, I'd just say, I'm saying it loud and clear. Strikes are incredibly powerful even after the nerf. And I happened to get a video I wasn't going for that, not even remotely. I was about to delete the video that I'm about to show you, but I thought that it could be used as a proof without you know going to the lobby and testing test after test. What happened is that uh, I did some unintentional team damage with a strike, and I didn't do I checked the video I didn't do other team damage before with other stuff, so it's just the team damage done from that strike, so you can count exactly what damage that strike did. So right here, I see that there are a lot of enemies down there, so I need to toss a strike. I don't realize it that I can shoot it right now. So I do a spin around this one, but at this point it's time to throw the strike. I see that my allies are still under the bridge. I see that I'm hitting at least three mechs, the Cyclops, the Timber and the Rothneck down here. So I'm like, okay, it's 5-0, maybe, I, because I just killed one, maybe my enemies, uh, my allies will stay under the bridge and keep peeking from there. Instead, what happens? is that the Cyclops dies straight away. So I don't hit the Cyclops with the strike because it dies. But then... The strike hits the Timber, the Rothneck, and at least three allied units down there. Maybe even this one. I'd say for sure it hit the Timber, the Rothneck, and two or three allied units down here. So... At the end, I'm going to see how much team damage I did. Of course, the team damage isn't recording the damage done to this enemy and this enemy. So the damage done to, the damage done from the strike, by the strike, is uh, the one that you see plus the damage done on this timber and the Rothneck. So we go at the end, and the team damage is 187. To this, you need to add the damage done to the enemy timber and the Rothneck. So in total, this strike did at least, at the very least, 250 damage. Which is a lot. It's a lot for something that doesn't have heat consequences, range requirements, slot requirements. It's just you pay money and it does damage. You pay money and it does damage. It's what, It was a very unhealthy mechanic for the game because to me, Sibyls don't mean anything because I have every single chassis in the game at least 90% of them are fully equipped with engines, weapons, and uh, also full skill nodes. But, for a new player, it can be seen as a pay-to-win mechanic. Because, for them, it has an impact to spend all of those monies in strikes and cool shots. And they may feel forced to run on premium time, paying premium time with real money to advance in the game. So, thanks God that we nerfed it. It was a rightful nerf, because if after the nerf they are doing less than 50% of what they did, I still did 250 damage with one strike. It means that before I would have done 500 
with only one strike, only one, I can shoot two per game. So this is just the further confirmation that those guys who say that strikes are useless, strikes are useless, they have no idea what the fuck they're saying. In fact, every time you drop in a comp match where people who really know what they are doing play, you need to ask the permission to throw a strike. You, you need to call it on comms. I need next strike because strikes are so immensely powerful that all of your teammates try to shoot it first because they want to shoot strikes because they are still too strong. So when you are in comms, in comp, you need to say, I need next strike, I need next strike. So your teammates don't spam the button to throw it as soon as possible and you can throw your strike in peace. That's how strong they still are. So I hope that I clarified the topic for you guys. And if usual, if you guys haven't registered yet, remember to register to my channel. Hit the like button, share the content with your friends, and hit the bell to enable the notifications. I'll catch you guys next time.